Hey guys, get level here, and today I have a brand new free overlay pack for you. This one is called Sneak, and in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that is included in it, as well as how to install it using OBS Studio. Let's have a quick look. So this is gonna be the starting soon screen. As you can see here, we, you have your labels bar. Uh, there's the intermission screen. Of course, your gameplay is up top. Your chat is on the right here. This is the game scene. Let's pretend that I'm playing some Apex right now. You have the camera overlay with a custom text that you can, you know, you put whatever text you want in there. The labels bar is bottom in the middle. We have the BR back screen. If you, you know, you gotta take a short break, it happens. Uh, ending screen right there so in this video as i said i'm going to show you everything that's included i'm also going to show you how to customize it and make it more your own if you don't like the color that's fine you can change the color if you don't like uh you know the language if you want to change the language and put your custom text custom language you want to make your own panels everything will be explained very very shortly one big thing that i want you to remember from this video is that please read the product description before buying or just downloading free stuff in general read the product description okay let's get right into it so let me start by showing you everything that's included in the pack those are all png files okay so let's open this up this is an avatar transparent avatar basically you can put a picture of yourself or your logo and you can slap this on top of it in order to keep it uh, matching the color scheme and the graphic style of the overlay pack uh, this is the banner for your twitch channel this is going to be your camera overlay as you can see this is uh empty over there so you can put your own text this is a labels bar now this is the non-affiliate labels bar because when you're non-affiliate you can't get subs or bits so this one has follow donation and top donation and then this one is for affiliate or partners donation cheers and uh donations cheers and also uh, subs right here and then boom there's also a blank one in case you're a graphic designer or you know how to use photoshop and you want to put your own icons for whatever reason for example if you're streaming on another platform like youtube that would work too boom currently offline image is right there you have a blank image if you want to do whatever you want with it boom another blank image uh short break is right here that's your bi back screen basically and this is the transparent intermission screen your camera is going to go underneath here and then your lobby gameplay or whatever is going to be there you will have your chat box on the right side this is the starting soon screen and uh, this is the stream ending scene okay Boom, this is the basics. And then you have a bunch of panels. There's 22 in gen in general and in total, including a blank one. Of course, I'm gonna touch on uh, customizing all that stuff a little bit later, as you can see. There's a lot of them in there. All right, let's go into OBS Studio and get it ready. Boom, so we know we're gonna need about four or five scenes. Let's rename the first one. That's gonna be our first scene. It's gonna be the starting soon scene. So I'm gonna type starting. I right clicked and then click rename. Boom, starting. I'm gonna create another one. This one is gonna be my intermission screen. I'm just gonna call it enter. We don't have time for this. We're gonna call this one the game scene. And then we're gonna create this one. It's gonna be the BRI back scene. I'm clicking on the plus to create new scenes. And then the stream ending. I don't recommend you having a stream ending scene you're supposed to raid or host people when you're done streaming don't you know put credits and all of that because you're gonna lose viewers and you're gonna lose the, op the opportunity to raid people with the maximum amount of viewers anyways click plus in order to add an image here as your sources because those are all png images remember and uh, we're gonna call this one starting because we're gonna import the starting soon overlay uh, we're gonna go ahead here and find it uh, boom starting right here click ok you're fine intermission click plus again what is it an image i'm gonna click ok well actually name it enter and boom browse it go find it it's the transparent one scene intermission boom i named i named them cleverly so you could easily recognize them everything that's a scene i put scene in front of it everything that's a panel i put panel in front of it this is the game so we're gonna put the camera overlay because in the game scene we just need the camera overlay and the labels bar boom camera overlay is gonna be a little bit big for now but that's it's just gonna make things easier for us to place our camera underneath it later on let's go and find image here this is the brb let's click ok nope the name already exists uh that's weird let's call it brb2 i don't know what's going on but all right scene a b right back did i mess up is that what happened intermission starting no okay that's weird all right ending maybe it's the scene name uh ending is gonna be ending of course not engine ending 
yeah, it doesn't want, it doesn't like when you have the same scene name as a source. So let's find stream ending and let's click open and boom, here we go. So intermission screen, let's add our uh, camera. So I'm gonna click plus here. I'm gonna go ahead and find a video capture device because that's what your camera is. Uh, you can call this one webcam or whatever. Uh, and then find the right camera, not this thing, just filming the back of my TV. Let's click uh, Pingo. I'm using a capture card, so the name is gonna be different. Hi, it's me, how you doing? Okay, I don't like the way this is facing. I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna go to transform. I'm gonna flip horizontal, so I'm facing the right direction. I like facing chat when I'm speaking. It just makes more sense. I'm gonna drag that source underneath the intermission screen. Remember, it's kind of transparent. Nice, I'm gonna lock the intermission scene because I don't want this to move ever again. And I'm gonna kind of place my camera in order for it to kind of match, you know, um, to have me in the center. Kind of like that, okay. If it spills out a little bit, that's not a big deal. You can just hold Alt on your, com on your computer, on your keyboard and drag the sides. This is gonna crop it. Beautiful, boom. Since we're in the topic of adding cameras, let's click plus, add a video capture device again, but we already added our camera. So we click add existing, let's click webcam. Boom, we have a webcam, boom. It's not flipped yet, so right click, transform, flip horizontal. Okay, and then drag it underneath your camera overlay. And now we're gonna kind of place it. We don't have much to do. This is why I like um, placing my camera when everything is full screen like that. We just place it so the top of the top and bottom actually fit a little bit, even though it's kind of finicky right now. Place myself roughly in the middle. You can use the arrow keys to be more precise when it comes to moving stuff. And then hold Alt again in your keyboard, drag the sides, crop that bad boy, and you are essentially Ready, okay, now we need to group those things. We don't need to move them separately. So I'm gonna click on the webcam, hold shift, click on camera overlay, right click, cl click group selected items and call this one cam group. Boom, cam group. Now I can collapse this by clicking on the little arrow. Boom, cam group, I can move them together. How beautiful, I can even scale them down together because you know ultimately that's what's gonna happen. Now there's a little space here. If you already have a logo or something like that with a transparent background, you can just drag and drop it, keep it in the group. But if you don't, you can just add a text. Let's click plus, add a text, uh, call this one name. I'm gonna add my name, I'm gonna you know, type my name, go to select font, add a fancy font if you have one. The font used in this uh, overlay pack is actually called Thunder Trooper, and it's the italic one. Boom, like that. It doesn't have to be this font, but you know, you wanna keep things consistent. I'm gonna click OK. I'm going to scale it down, not that much, until it fits pretty much eyeball it, kind of, and then put it in a group. Now it's in the group. If I select the group, I can move everything together. Remember, we're gonna have our gameplay in the background. Um, your camera's most likely gonna look like that. That's what it's meant to look like, okay? Intermission screen is for full screen, so when you're talking, you're in the lobby, and this is when you're gaming. You're just gaming, okay? Talking about gaming, you would add a game capture if you wanted to add your game, but I don't have any games running right now, so I'm gonna add a media source. I'm just gonna play a video of me playing a game, pretty much. Let's go find some uh, Apex. Maybe the kids love Apex, right? They do love Apex. All right, let's put this on the loop. Click OK. Boom, immediately some Apex. I'm gonna drag it underneath my camera group so I can see it. Boom, look at that, it's me playing games. All right, let's go to intermission scene. Uh, this thing is kind of empty, so let's add a game again. In my case, it's gonna be a media source. In your case, it's gonna be a game capture. Boom, we already have, if you already had added the game capture, it's already there, so don't stress it. Drag this uh, in order to kind of fit like that and you can drag and drop it underneath everything if you want to you know boom and there it is uh remember you can lock your sources if you don't want to move them ever again and we're almost ready all we need to do now is add some uh, labels for example now we're going to click plus it's also an image everything in here is an image labels bar we're going to call this one i'm going to click browse i'm going to go find it and uh in our case as i said there's non-affiliate there's affiliate there's blank in my case i'm affiliate i'm going to click on affiliate here it's gonna bring it as you can see it's kind of big i made it big just so it's kind of hd so if you want to do stuff with it you can do whatever you want with it but you're supposed to it's not you're not supposed to use it just like that <laughs> it's too big okay anyways so i'm gonna keep it like that for now just so i can add the text easier in my case as a service i am using Streamlabs, so i'm gonna be using stream labels if you're not using Streamlabs, you're using stream elements then in that case you would import your stream labels 
the labels bar into stream element, you would add your labels there and then you would import the browser source. I'm using Streamlabs, so I'm using stream labels, which create text files that will have the information that I need. I'm gonna click plus, I'm gonna add a text. And in that case, this is the sign for sub. So I'm gonna click sub, I'm gonna type sub and I'm gonna click read from file. My output folder is on my desktop, stream labels, and I'm gonna go find most recent subscriber, all right? Uh, most recent subscriber is Tile. Hey, thank you, Tile. I appreciate it. Let's select the font and make it fancy. Uh, I usually want something that is readable. Don't go too fancy. In this case, this is the font of the overlay pack, so I'm going to use that. If you, f if you feel like this is not readable enough, it's completely fine. It's completely fine. Do not sweat it. Click OK. Boom. And now we're going to make it smaller, and we will make it scroll just in case the next person to sub is gonna have like a huge name and we don't want huge names. I mean, we don't mind huge names, but we want it to, to still fit this little thing right here. So let me click, right click here, go to filters, drag this aside, click plus to add a new filter. And what do we want it to do? We want it to scroll. Yes, click okay. Uh, horizontal speed is what we're looking for. We want it to move, but we don't want it to be too crazy. Limit the width. This is our lifesaver right here. Uh, and an in input, whatever you feel like works, a thousand actually works perfectly. Let me put 900 and 50 and 70. A thousand was perfect, but I like having a little bit of margin so things don't feel like too, too close to the sides. I don't like when things are too close to the sides. Okay, boom. All right, you might be thinking, wow, that was complicated. I can't wait to not do this anymore. That's fine. You can just right click on your sub here, copy, right click again, and then paste duplicate. Pasting duplicate means it pastes the same source, but it's a different source. So any modification you apply to that source has nothing to do with the previous source. So I can double click here, click browse and go find my most recent, what was it, cheerer? Okay, uh, press M, most recent cheerer. And who is that? Boom, it is Chen, Chen something. Boom, right here, right there. So I can right click again, paste uh, duplicate again, Place it around here. Nice. Double click, browse, and last one was donator. So I can type M on my keyboard. Gets me closer to most recent donator. Boom. Who's my most recent donator? Five dollars, and it's yeah. You can bump up the the speed if you want to. It's shik shik shikaga. All right. Is it your shikaga? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so this is your labels bar. We're going to group them together before scaling them. So I'm going to hold shift, shift, not shift. Um, and I'm going to click include the labels bar uh, graphics, right click, create a group. So labels, let's just call it labels. It's fine. Collapse the group. Boom. Now everything is selected. It's beautiful. It works perfectly. Let's uh, drag it down a little bit. I kind of wanted to fit this whole like this bar right there. So it's it makes sense for it to be like that. Place it wherever you want, really, like really place it wherever you want. I like I like it here. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to copy it because we want it to be in multiple scenes, right? Let's go to the intermission scene. Let's right click. And this time you want a reference. You want that if you want to add a filter to your labels bar, you want it to apply to every labels bar if that's really what you want. Anyways, paste reference right here. Boom. It's right there. You can place it here underneath there. There's some space. I like putting it on top here or you can put it on top here or on top there, wherever you want. But I like having it on top of the camera. It gives it more depth, in my opinion. All right, let's go to game, right click and uh, paste reference. And now you can put it uh, middle here if you want to or middle top if you want to. Actually, this looks this doesn't look too bad. Middle top right there. That's nice. OK, and be right back here. You'll see that it will actually paste it at the same spot that I have it on the starting soon screen. So this is cool. Boom. That's done. Right click, paste reference. Boom. That's also done. What is missing? What is missing is the chat box right here in my intermission screen. So I am using Streamlabs once again. If you're using Stream Elements, you can just go to the website and create new overlay, add your chat box at the appropriate space, add probably this intermission file and then put it there. But I'm using Streamlabs, so I'm just going to copy paste the browser source. So I'm going to log into my Streamlabs account by going to streamlabs.com. Let me go to my dashboard and then on top in the search bar, I'm going to type a chat box. 
boom chat box widget settings yours is not gonna look like that mine is kind of customized so it has a specific look to it i'm gonna go to top here where it says widget url and i'm gonna click copy so that copies my widget url and i'm gonna click plus right here i'm gonna click browser because that's what i'm trying to add right now it's a browser source uh, i'm gonna type it uh, i'm gonna call it chat box and i'm gonna replace this link by the link that i just copied when it comes to the um width you can tell that this is not gonna fit here you want to play around with the width until it well the width and the height until it fits something that you like keep in mind the text size has like kind of a role to play in there let me try for 50 that seems kind of reasonable let's just drag it down scaling it manually also affects the text size of course Place it right here. Okay, that looks reasonable. Now let's go back to my Twitch channel and let's type some stuff. Get Nightbot to respond a little bit. Okay. And if we go here, you can see that my chat is now present and it's here to stay. All right, what's what's left? What's left? I feel like we're pretty much good. Oh, the, the fancy transition that I showed you at the beginning. The, the quote-unquote fancy transition is actually a very basic transition right there boom oh beautiful okay um so under your audio mixer you will find scene transition you can click on the little thing and you can add a luma wipe okay add a luma wipe call it luma wipe okay and then you can find there's multiple there's fan there's curtain there's cloud cloud is the one that i was using you can preview the transition and this is what it looks like but in my case i'm gonna make it um 2000 milliseconds just so it's kind of slow so if i go from the game scene to the intermission scene that's what it looks like you can make it you know shorter by reducing the the number but i like that i think that's pretty cool um and that looks pretty good nice so this is how you set it up very easy just add image add image add image add browser source <laughs> Add camera and you're done uh, I'm gonna show you how to customize it I talked about the color a little bit if people don't like this color I understand this is not my first overlay with this color you can right click on whatever um, overlay that you don't like the color of click filters add a new filter click color correction click OK and then play around with a hue shift now it can be whatever color you want okay it can be whatever color you want and it can be blue I know you guys like the blue you can bump up the saturation to make it more blue Wow beautiful Okay, cool, let's close this. Now the problem as you can see is, um, well, nothing else has this color now. What, what happens? What happens at this point? What do you do now? You want everything to have the color. So you can right click on it and then copy filters. This is the beauty of it. You can copy filters and you can right click on your labels bar, for example. Remember the labels bar was a reference, paste filters. So now your labels are blue, but every label is blue from now on, right? the labels all blue but you can still pick you know the scenes paste filters right here paste filters for the camera overlay you want to select the specific camera overlay paste filters now it's blue actually i, I, don't, I don't mind it looking blue like that and then for this, the intermission overlay, you want to paste filters and now everything is blue. I should probably change the colors of uh, my room to match. So set shelves to blue. Okay. There you go. And boom, now you have a blue setup. Put this to blue. It's that easy. It is that easy. Now, other big question is, oh, you talk about the text, blah, blah, blah. What if I don't want it to say starting soon? I don't want it to say be right back. Uh, like I, I stream in a different language. Also my panels, I want them to, have, it's fine. I got you. I got you, boo-boo. So if you as a responsible human being, you read the product description, right? You will see that in the product description right here, I will tell you exactly where to find the font that I used in the pack, boom, so, and then I tell you download and install the font to customize your own scene. Boom, you download it, you install it, all right? And then I tell you, use Photopea. If you wanna make your own panels, there's a link right here. What happens if I open this link? Boom, this opens up and you can type whatever you want. If the, um, if the font is not showing up, it's fine. The font that you just downloaded, you can just 
you know, select your double click on the T to modify the text. You can go top here near the T, click load font and just load up the font that you downloaded from thefont.com. Okay. And then just click open, it will install it. And then you'll be able to modify it, make it say PP, make it say poo poo, whatever you want, whatever you want, you can make that happen. How nice. Okay. There's a second link in there. Make your own scenes here. What happens if you click on this link? What happens is that this opens up and you can make it say poo poo three, the reckoning or PP three. Okay. We don't discriminate. Same thing. Make sure you install the font in there, load font, go find the font. Uh, if it's a zip file, unzip it, you know, basic stuff, basic stuff. And you can create your own. If you want to export it, click file, export as PNG, click save, whatever you want to save it. And then boom, you just create it. You click OK a couple of times and boom, you have your own custom made. Whatever language you want to speak, whatever text you want it to say, it is all right there. I couldn't have made it easier. For you guys, just make sure you read the product description over and over again. If you have questions, read the product description. If you're thinking of another question, read the product description. And if you want to ask, you know, a question, uh, I understand that you can read the product description because in the product description, it will tell you exactly where you can ask said question. But anyways, this overlay pack will be available at gumroad.com slash get level. It is not the only overlay pack there, you know, check them out. I have some animated ones. I have some stinger transitions. I have some stinger templates. I have some um, camera overlays. I have a lot of free stuff and a lot of very, very affordable. Um, please consider the paid ones too, because that's literally how I feed myself <laughs> and pay my bills. Yeah, I believe, I believe everything is said. Again, read the product description, okay? Okay, well, this was fun to make and this was fun to record. Top right, YouTube will tell you what they think is the best video you should watch next. And at the bottom of it, you will see my most recent video. So go check him out. Keep on learning about live streaming. And I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud. Get level out.